Good evening and welcome. I am Michael Watson and this is Hope News. In this programme today we are going to explore the differences in opinion regarding the subject of abortion. With current issues such as the 24 week limits and mother's rights, we felt it was important to give you both sides of the story and let you as the viewers decide for yourselves whether you agree or disagree with the current argument of abortion. I will now transfer you over to our correspondent at Hope Medical Centre, Matthew Boren. Thank you, Michael. Current research shows that for women who live in England and Wales, the no total number of abortions was 198,500 compared with 183,700 in 2006, a raise in 2.5%. The age standardised abortion rate was 18.6 per 1,000 resident women aged 15 to 44, compared with 18.3 in 2006. The under 16 abortion rate was 4.4 and the under-18 rate was 19.8 per 1,000 women, both higher than in 2006. 89% of abortions were funded by the NHS. Of these, over half took place in the independent sector under NHS contract. 90% of abortions were carried out at under 13 weeks digestion. Earlier today, we interviewed Lord David Alton, who strongly opposes abortion. I believe that life begins at fertilisation at conception. And if you take that view, then obviously you can't be relaxed about the taking of life once you believe that life has begun. So that's the fundamental reason why I oppose abortion, because life begins at conception, and after life has begun, then it's up to us to, uh, to provide protection for the vulnerable, for the weak, for the voiceless, for those that no one else will speak for. I'm positively pro-life for the woman and the child. So it's not for me a choice of one or the other. It's not about being anti-things. I'm pro-life uh, at every stage. Uh, from the beginning of life to the end of life. We will now interview some members of the general public and see what their opinions are. In some different circumstances it can be right or wrong. I believe God has a plan for everyone's life, so taking it prematurely is going against the will of God. However, in cases such as rape, I believe it could be the right thing to do. Abortion can only truly be understood by the individual, because they're the only ones who can actually understand the physical, emotional and psychological pain that can come from it. We have now seen what the general public think. We'll now have a look at a real life story. When I was um, 18, not long after I'd finished um, at college, I found out that I was pregnant. Um, and it, it was a bit of a, well, it was a shock for both me and my boyfriend. Um, and we didn't really know what to do, but I suppose that we always had like, the usual excuse that we didn't have any money. Um, we were both living at home with our parents. Um, and we just kind of didn't feel old enough to be able to be responsible for um, another life. So I really didn't think that I had any other choice apart from to, to have an abortion. Um, so we went ahead and I, although I didn't really suffer any, any physical pain, um, definitely there was a lot of an em emotional pain. Um, and I don't really remember, because I had so many painkillers, um, I don't really remember much of, of the actual event, um, but I do remember that the nurse, when they were t doing the ultrasound, asked me if I wanted to, to, to see the baby. And I can't remember if, if I said yes or no, but I, do, I know that I saw it, and it was kind of at that point where it all became a bit real for me, and I realized that this was a, a life. In conclusion, we cannot say if abortion is right or wrong. We can only give you the information for you to decide for yourselves. Thank you. I'm Matthew Boren. Good night.